proof of the divine is so critical because we live in a world in an in a civilization where proof is vital and it reinforces our faith also especially in the domain of the divine i just want to give you an example uh last night i just uh, very unusually went to collect the flowers from the plants because i saw there are a lot of uh, flowers were left uh on the tree of a bush and for some reason i was forced to go and collect as much flower as i can and then and i myself decorated the deities the lord shiva the dancing shiva and vishnu and all ganesha everybody and uh, the statues were loaded with uh, flowers and every day i get a nari reading almost uh from agastya and then um, he gives the reading i don't ask questions or anything he said that all the deities are very happy today because you have given them uh decorated them with a lot of multicolored flowers that is true there were at least five or six colors uh of flowers that i collected and as i am saying that somebody is uh, watching put uh one three six eight 10 12 roses <laughs> rose buds uh who is watching that it's uh I was amazed and I asked him why did you give a reading uh, that that the gods are very happy especially today I said he said to me that I don't do anything it is Agastya who is giving the reading and he knows that he says that you have given a lot of flowers to these deities it was not amazing to me but because i know that when you give flowers the gods are very happy and then they do accept but how did he know i'm living in san diego and he's living in india so the reason why i am saying this uh, anecdote in my life is because they wanted to uh talk to you about the proof you do some ritual and then you you get a result and even in the divine divine domain as it is in the human domain it is only parasparam which means uh, you do this for me and i will do this for you and that is also true of the uh divine uh domain that's the reason why i encourage uh pujas you know more than meditation but you know and this reminds me of another uh, ceremony with two different archetypes one is kamadenu which is uh, a divine cow with a human head a woman's head and uh, the body of a cow or the tail of a peacock this is a very complicated archetype but this archetype is uh, along with 
Lakshmi came out of out of the milky ocean when the ocean was churned according to the mythology. And this worship of this uh, particular archetype along with a bull uh, uh, is very, very productive in certain circumstances. Number one, when there is a threat from uh, the viruses, whether it is influenza or coronavirus, this ritual uh, works. You know, this came to me for about three years ago, and I was revisiting this particular Nadi reading. The, the viruses are uh, beings, and these beings, according to this mythology, uh, often hurt people <coughs> at certain uh, when they are dissatisfied. And the remedy for this is to do a ritual for the divine cow, Kamadenu. You can go K A M A D H E N U. People can see a picture of that, uh, a diagram. When you go to Google, search, and a bull, and it has to be done in a certain way. And more importantly, this ritual is also uh, for uh, bringing rain. And this is very important, especially for India and other hot countries. And uh, one more thing about this ritual is, is it a ritual for uh, uh, bringing wealth, prayer for wealth. For some reason that uh, I was inspired to do this video. I have not done the videos of our Facebook quite some time because I moved to Instagram. I know there are about a lot of people, hundreds of people on Facebook. Uh, we have about 420 people who are following me. So I am not going to give it up. I will keep doing that. So there was, a, I have asked, <coughs> asked a way to do a comedy, you know, the divine cow and the bow ceremony uh, it will be appropriate at this time god bless mm -hmm.